Okay, group, our last form of function notation is from a graph. Um, and so everything is still the same in terms of what everything means. So this is our x value. So every time that we look at g of something, that something is x. It'll change down here, and we'll talk about that in a second. So here, we want when x is negative 2, what's y? So it helps you to put y above kind of the blank space where we're going to write a number. We can do that. So let's go over here to negative 2. And it looks like right here it crosses at um, x equals 1, 2, negative, I'm sorry, y equals 1, 2, negative 3. So x is negative 2, y is negative 3. At g of 0, that's when x is 0, looks like y crosses at negative 3 as well. When x is 3, y is 1, 2, 3, 4. And when x is 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, whoop, it's right there. That is a y value of 0. And then our question on here says, for what values of x? So that means we're looking for x. Does y equal 0? So we're going to come over here and draw a line at y equals 0. And you can see that it crosses at four different sections. So 1, 2, th oops, 1, 2, 3, so that would be negative 3, positive 1, 5, and 7. So there are four different cases where y equals 0, or four different x values where y equals 0.